What's going on guys, TJ here from Rebellion Academy and today in this video we're going to look at a few different movements that we can do to increase our rucking power and just in general our rugby specific power. So I've clipped over a few examples of explosive rucking if you watch any sort of uh, Super 15 game with the Kiwis playing you'll see that in abundance as well but we're looking at particularly a guy coming straight on and exploding with triple extension and also with the upper body really driving themselves into their opponent so you can see that in one more clip we have coming up once his slow-mo finishes and what you'll see in this clip is number four exploding himself with his upper body into the opponent so they can get nice clean ball so essentially what we're looking at is horizontal explosion which you get a lot in rugby but you don't get a lot in the gym simply because it's an awkward exercise to try and program for. This one is my favorite clip, I'm going to double it up again and what you're going to see is the upper body as well as the lower body exploding in a horizontal plane. So you don't get this much again as I said in the gym. So how can we program for it? So the first choice most people think is some sort of upper body push like a bench press or a push up or even an overhead press. Now the problem with this is, well, firstly, it's just focusing on the upper body and there's no sort of lower body movement whatsoever, which as you can see from the videos before, that's not how you're gonna enter a ruck. Your legs are gonna be most of the force. Your upper body is just gonna utilize that power. The other problem is that you don't go into the ruck like that, you know, or even if you're like this, you don't go like this. It's not really the arms that are moving, it's the whole body that's gonna try and move. So. What we're going to have to look at is some sort of movement that's going to extend the knees and the hips as well as utilize the upper body. So firstly, we're going to look at cleans. So cleans are a very good and traditional way of building lower body power as you reach extension from the knees and the hips. As you can see here, knees and the hips are fully extended and they're explosively building up at the same time. It also, I think it's quite good because it also teaches you to receive in a strong position as well, but that's for something another day. A good idea for beginners, if you can, is to do the cleans off of blocks because it takes out a lot of the technique element which makes uh, the Olympic lifts a lot more difficult to do. But instead of that, what we're gonna do is show you an exercise that uses the upper body as well as the knees and the hips to it for extension and that is kneeling medicine ball forward throws. So you can see here that I'm driving and the power comes from the knees and mostly the hips, but also I'm gonna use my upper body to guide that power and launch that medicine ball as far forward as I can at the appropriate angle. It's more of an angle that is similar to what you would do on a pitch than any other more traditional gym movements that you'll see. So make sure that you use an appropriate load so that you can explode really dynamically with the knees and the hips as well as obviously the chest and shoulders and add that into your program so add that into your program preferably at the beginning of a workout when you're most fresh because that's how we're going to experience benefits explosively we also can do it as part of a conditioning day as part of a circuit but just add that in and you're going to really experience the benefits from that cheers guys